I've got some dark areas of my home, which I thought I might change with this. This little white box right here has some great innovative little lights here. And what you can see is that it's not like a regular light bulb. It's these string lights or LED lights on a strip, which is pretty cool. I've never had these before. And I thought it'd be a nice way to add some light to some dark corners of my house that don't normally get lights and they can be subtle out of the way and kind of level up the appearance. So let's check them out and install them. So let's just take a close look at what we get in the box before I set everything up here. So we get a plug with a single prong, kind of looks like a laptop plug, two prong outlet right there. So use that to power this sucker up. Looks like we get a little adapter cord so that you can splice some things together. And we also have the little covers right there. And then we also have uh, some more cords so this looks like where the power will go in and then out here we have a couple of plugs that will probably uh, be obvious where they plug into the light strip we get a remote here which is actually pretty impressive on off auto we get uh we can control all the rgb settings looks like we have some motion and animation to it and then it looks like right here we have a battery compartment which if i open that up looks like we use just a little button cell battery probably will tell us which one in here we do get some pretty extensive instructions here so there are controls as well on the side of the power strip there so if you don't use the remote you won't have to worry about that and then you will have the light strip itself here so smart neon rope I like the fact that it comes in this reel here and then what you can see here on the one side we have that little plug so that looks like it's pretty obvious this little four prong to four prong plug right there and then i think if you wanted to get more of these and splice them together you can do that right there but what i want to show you here is that first of all it's flexible it's maybe six millimeters thick and a centimeter wide and and I'm assuming that the light kind of shines out from the sides here because this looks like white paint so it's gonna kind of shine out through the sides there and I'm trying to see here and seems pretty robust I don't know if you can put this outside or not but I'm gonna use it inside it's basically saying you don't want to tape over it though you don't want it to get hot in certain places and you don't want to cut it anywhere but the designated cut line so if I flip this over just like this you might be able to see these little dark spots and they're maybe every two two and a half inches and I think that is a cut line so if you want to shorten this up I think you can cut on the little dark spots there and if I didn't mention it uses a CR 2025 battery in the remote if you have that so pretty common button cell battery okay also it looks like there's an app that you can control this with so here's the QR code if you want to go ahead and scan that and download that as well all right let's get setting this thing up and see if we can put some light where right now there's only darkness and I'm not talking about my soul all right so out here in my garage and really where I want to add this strip lighting is above those cabinets right there so I've got a little empty space I've got some stuff stored up there but I thought I might have enough strip lighting to run from the TV there on the top of those cabinets so you can't see the strip lighting but then it would illuminate that area because it's kind of dark you know I've got really good lighting other places but it doesn't really show any style show any pizzazz kind of provide any illumination but I thought with this now you know the multicolored strip lighting I could you know put cool blue up there or vibrant purple or something like that and because of the colors it'd also be cool if you had like a game room or something like that so you're watching Northwestern you could throw up that purple uh, turn it blue for the lions all those types of things so I'm going to go ahead and run it from there to there and see if we can get that area lit up and looking good all right, so I put the light strip up there and a couple things that I have observed, which are surprises, but some of the things I like. So first of all, I wanted to show you that I've got the remote here and I'm just gonna hit the on button and those lights are on. I don't know if you can see it. It is not really easy to see when you have other 
lights on because I think the issue is that these aren't like those little LEDs on a strip, you know, the ones that you would put, say, underneath cabinets and things like that. They are inside of this, you know, transparent plastic, but then the two long sides are painted. So the light is only kind of leaking out that side. Now, if I go ahead and shut off my garage lights here, you should be able to see that it is reflecting above there and obviously much more visible. Now, the thing you probably can't tell here is that we have a bunch of color combinations right here on the bottom. So if I go ahead and I hit different colors, I can absolutely change these to kind of those primary colors, you know, any one of them. And then they have white down here, which is nice. I kind of like, where's that blue go there? I kind of dig that blue right there. But then I can put a timer on this. I can increase the brightness. There's even a thing to put it like dance mode. So I think it'll kind of listen to like sounds if you have music on and it'll kind of maybe bounce to them. And then they have some other modes here too. So if I hit this, you can see this is mode three. Looks like a party up in here. And if you really just wanted something like, you know, that blue or that green or that yellow, it would be really cool to put these like at the baseboards of a room that maybe you podcast in or shoot videos in to kind of give a little bit of that glow behind you. So I think that something like this, you don't even have to mount it. You can just roll out this tape is the easiest way to get some of this track lighting, some of this kind of ribbon lighting that a lot of people like. And then, yeah, you could mount it like I did to the top of the cabinets here inside a cabinet. You can put it somewhere where you want more additional light, but I think just as kind of a subtle accent light. And for me, I ordered another one and put it behind my whiskey bottle so that I just have a little bit of light emanating from behind to highlight those. I like it because it's easy to control with the remote, it's very cheap, and it's super easy to install. And one thing I noticed is when I stopped talking, it's actually registering my voice on these party modes. So if I go quiet here, going silent. Look at that, it stays dark. So yes, it will absolutely dance to sound that you have there. So if you wanna get on the party mode here with this colored LED light strip, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. We can discover more and explore so much deeper.